Hey there guys, welcome back to another ration review and today we have a really good ration. We have a French RCIR or French Individual Reheatable Combat Ration or French IRCR and uh, this is menu number seven. So let's have a close look. All right, before we get started, I wanna give a big thanks and shout out to foreignmre.com. They have a wide selection of rations, just like this one. They have Russian IRPs, Chinese PLAs. Uh, they provide free shipping in the United States. They're great to work with. Very friendly overall just a great place to get rations so make sure you check them out and make sure you mention that sticky finger sent you and yeah maybe uh they'll send me something else to review who knows but i just want to give a big thanks to art and nina and yeah check them out foreignmre.com all right let's have a close look at it all right here it is we have menu number seven here's the list of contents if you guys want to spoil it for yourselves if you guys want to read it and find out what's inside go ahead and cheat we have a best before date of may 25th 2019 this meal contains no pork which is a real shame and uh this is nato approved Here we have some precautions, external checking of cans, damaged cans, swollen or leaked, must not be used, purifying tablets. And that's pretty much it. it comes wrapped in plastic, it comes in this cardboard box, very neat. So let's, um, let's open it. All right, let's open it up. Plastic. Oops, sorry about that. And we're in. All right, let's see what we have. First things up, we have a box of biscuits, 200 grams. I believe these are wheat biscuits. Very nice. All right, and we have a travel lunch muesli. Not sure what kind of muesli or what flavor. All right, and we have a chocolate bar, 25 grams, and it's a 70%, so this is really strong chocolate. We have a package of drinks and um, condiments. We'll check that out in a minute. Napkins or butt ration. And we have a package of soup. I believe this is leek soup. I'm not entirely sure, but I'll hit it with the translator. We have what appears to be an energy bar. Not sure what the flavor is. We have a can of cheese or cheese spread. Some apricot spread or jam. We have an energy drink. Very nice. All right, we have this. I'm not sure what it is. It's uh, obviously coffee flavored and uh, I like the camel packaging. And it's, um, uh, this I guess says Commando. I'm not sure what that is, but it's coffee flavored and uh, feels soft. Uh, so maybe a coffee flavored Tootsie Roll, I'm not sure. All right, and we have a can of macro pate. 80 grams, very nice. We have an apricot fruit bar or nougat bar. I'm not entirely sure. All right, here we have the nougat bar and it's uh, mixed fruits. Very nice. We have an Espa stove. We'll look at it, but I don't think I'll be using it. Here's one of the main entrees, and this is a Mexican salad. You get 300 grams of it. Contains, I believe, beef. Excellent. All right, and the other main entree, we have Asian style chicken and shrimp. You can see the shrimp right there and the chicken. Sounds very interesting, so yeah, that's it. 
All right, guys, here we have all the contents. We have the Mexican salad, Asian style chicken and shrimp, muesli, isotonic energy drink, apricot jam or spread, mystery coffee bar, energy bar, espe stove napkins, drinks and seasoning package, dark chocolate bar soup, cheese spread biscuits, macro pate, nougat bar, and apricot fruit bar. So yeah, this stuff looks really good. I can't wait to try it. So yeah, let's uh, plate it up and try it out. All right, let's check out what's in here. We have sugar, we have salt and pepper, another sugar, we have two packages of coffee, Mama Inez, <laughs> we have a black and green tea, very nice, and we have an instant hot cocoa drink. nice let's check out this espa stove here we have the water purification tablets get six of them here's the stove you just fold all the ends like it says on the back Got a trash bag, some really cool French matches, let's check them out, we got the Eiffel Tower, Very nice. You get the hexamine fuel tablets. Six of them. And here you have your uh, spork. <laughs> Not sure if this is a joke or. And you have a handle for your food when it's uh, steaming hot so you don't get burnt. And that's it. For breakfast, we'll check out the biscuits, the muesli, isotonic drink, apricot fruit bar, coffee with sugar, and yeah, let's get started. All right, let's start with the drinks. We'll also prepare the soup, and uh, I don't think we're gonna use this. We'll use this instead. All right, let's prepare the isotonic drink. This requires about three cups of water. I have two cups, so we'll just use about, I don't know, two thirds. Let's open it up. That looks just about right. And we'll use our vintage Swedish fork and spoon. There we have a date stamp of 1940, so it's kind of old. It's not too old. All right, let's uh, stir it up. All right, there's the isotonic drink. It's got a fruity kind of smell. I'm not sure what flavor it is, so let's try it out. Kind of salty it tastes kind of like gatorade yeah i'm not sure what flavor that is i think we should add more of this let's see if we can make the flavor more intense all right let's give it another try
the best way I can describe it, it tastes like very mild, artificial, orange kind of taste. That vitamin C taste, just very mild and a little bit salty. And uh, yeah, it's not bad, it's, it's pretty good. Let's check out the coffee. It just looks like your standard freeze-dried coffee. Yeah, it's got a really nice bold scent to it. I can already smell it. Let's add some sugar. Get that all in there. And just uh, give it a stir. Yeah, that looks really dark. Let's uh, try it out. Yeah, it's got a really nice, bold, roasted flavor. Somewhat bitter, but yeah, I really enjoy it. It's nice and smooth. And uh, yeah, you can't go wrong with a good cup of joe. All right, let's check out the leek soup made by Neff. And uh, yeah, bon appetit. I'm using about 10 ounces of water, so yeah, let's check it out. We'll use our Swedish mess kit. You can see all the seasoning. I believe you're supposed to stir for about two to three minutes and I guess let it rest. All right, let's stir it up. Let's get rid of these clumps. All right, there it is. It does have a leak scent to it. You can see little bits in there. Let's, uh, let's try it out. All right, let's have another taste. Yeah. Pretty good it's got a really strong leek taste to it very garlicky i might have added too much water i think seven ounces would have been perfect it's a little bit bland but uh yeah it's still not bad it's pretty good all right let's check out the muesli i believe travel lunch is a german brand i'm not entirely sure let's open it up Yeah, it looks like we made a mess, but it's all right. Let's uh, see what we have. It looks like we have uh, strawberries, maybe apples. We'll use our Swedish mess kit. For the muesli, you can use hot or cold water. It's all up to you. I like using hot water, so we'll do that. Give it a little stir. You can see the water's turning kind of milky. Right away, you get that muesli smell, kind of like oatmeal. It 
there's some sunflower seeds in there and some strawberries and apples. All right, let's uh, give it a try. Yeah, that is some really good muesli. It's milky. It's got the right amount of natural sweetness. The strawberries and apples are excellent. You can definitely taste that. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. All right, let's check out the biscuits and the apricot fruit bar. Start with the biscuits. All right, so I believe we have three types of biscuits. We have just regular biscuits, chocolate, and cereal. So let's uh, try them out. We'll start with the cereal biscuits. They have a very strong wheat and cereal smell. Let's uh, try them out. Yeah, not bad. They have a very mild sweetness and flavor. They almost taste like graham crackers. Just a bit more mild on the flavor and sweetness. Just took out the chocolate biscuit. You can see the bits of chocolate. Definitely has a chocolatey smell to it. Let's try it out. Again, very mild on the sweetness. You definitely get that chocolate taste. Yeah, it's basically just a biscuit with uh, chocolate and yeah, it's pretty good. Let's try the regular ones. And here it is. It's got some nice vent holes. All right, let's try it. Yeah, those are salted. I guess that's what that word means. Sales, sales, should have known. Kind of has a mixture of sweetness and saltiness. Tastes just like the other crackers. Has that kind of wheat taste. Yeah, not bad. Let's check out the apricot fruit bar. Feels soft. Yeah, it looks like those jelly or gummy kind of candies. All right, let's uh, give it a try. Yeah, it just tastes like those Chuckles candies, like those soft gummy or jelly kind of candies. Not overly sweet, has a slight bitterness to it, but uh, yeah, it definitely tastes like apricots and yeah, it's pretty good. All right, and for lunch, we're gonna have the Mexican style salad, macro pate, coffee and tea, nougat bar, sugar, salt and pepper, dark chocolate, and our energy bar. So let's get started, plate this up and try it out. As always, let's start with the drinks. We'll prepare the tea and coffee. I've already tried the coffee, so since we only have one sugar packet left, we'll use it for the tea. So let's start with the tea. I believe this is a black tea. some sugar in there. I like my tea sweet. Then we'll just let it sit for a few minutes. Let's check out the coffee. Again. Same thing as the other one. We'll use our East German tiny cup, just like Shocker 71. Perfect for the French tiny spoon or sport. Let's give it a nice stir. Dissolve very well. What you would expect from instant freeze dried coffee. There it is again. All right, let's uh, try it out. You have very strong, bitter flavor. I could really use the sugar. I prefer my coffee a little bit sweet. It's just very bitter and 
Yeah, very strong. Yeah, it's still a good cup of coffee. Just needs that sugar. Let's have a look at our tea. You can see it's very dark. We have black tea and a black cup. Let's give it a try. Yeah, that's not a bad cup of tea. Overall, it's decent. It's a little bit on the weak side. I prefer my uh, tea a little bit stronger, but yeah, not bad. It's, it's still decent. All right, let's move on. Let's check out the other components. Let's check out the energy bar. All right, there it is. Let's give it a try. Yeah, not bad. It tastes just like your everyday normal energy bar. I believe the flavor is milk and berries, and you do get that milkiness and a slight hint of those berries, but it's got a really weird texture to it. It's not soft like the usual energy bars. This is more of a, like a crunchy kind of bar. Yeah, not bad. All right, let's check out the nougat bar. Yeah, it's very sticky. You see all the bits of fruit. Kind of like marshmallow consistency. All right, let's try it. It's got a very chewy texture, definitely has a fruit flavor to it. But yeah, it's just very chewy and very sweet. All right, let's check out the macro pate. It's got a nice pull tab. Oh yeah. But here it is. Definitely has a fishy smell to it. It's very soft. See little bits of, uh, I'm not sure what that is. Almost looks like uh, red bell peppers or chilies. All right, let's uh, try it. Yeah, that is very interesting. Let's try it with the salted cracker. Let's try it again with the salted biscuit. Let's wash it down. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. It just tastes like canned tuna, except it's got some really good flavors in there. And uh, yeah, that's the best way I can describe it. Just, uh, just tuna with very interesting seasonings and the salted biscuits make it a whole lot better. And yeah, that's very tasty mackerel. All right, let's check out this Mexican salad. We'll try it cold and then we'll warm it up. All right, check that out. You see large chunks of meat or beef. Let's get half onto the tray. And we'll warm up the rest. All right, so we'll use our penny stove to warm this up. Place it on there, slides a little bit. All right, so let's check out this Mexican style salad. See lots of beans, I believe those are kidney beans and beef. Let's get a nice spoonful. All right, there it is, it looks pretty good. Let's uh, just try it. Yeah, that's got good flavor to it, good seasoning. A little bit on the sweet side, more than savory. The beef is a little bit tough. Not sure what's up with that. And the beans and corn, yeah, it's, you know, beans and corn, it's pretty good. It could use some salt, so let's do that. Add a little bit. Some 
pepper. All right. Here we have the Mexican salad with uh, salt and pepper. Here we go again. Try with the biscuit. Have some nice big chunks of beef. All right. Yeah, that's really good black tea. Yeah, it's pretty good. Like I said, uh, got good seasoning to it. Just the beef is a little bit on the tough side. So let's try it warm. We'll use the handle tool that came with the Esbet stove. Just fold it. And then like this. And I'll show you guys. Alright, so you basically just uh, Look it on there. Yeah, it's got a good grip to it. All right, let's uh, turn this off. It's steaming hot. I already added the salt and pepper, so it should be well seasoned. Yeah, neat little tool. I like it. All right, so here we have the Mexican salad warmed up, and let's try it. See, it's piping hot. Yeah, that actually looks a lot better. All right, here we go. All right, let's try this big chunk of beef. I would go the extra step and warm this up. It's a whole lot better. Everything's much softer and yeah, and it goes down a lot easier. So take that extra step, warm this up and enjoy it. Let's check out the chocolate. Nice dark chocolate. All right, let's, uh, let's try it. Yeah, just your typical dark chocolate, very strong chocolate flavor and a nice bitter flavor to it and slightly sweet, but I enjoy dark chocolate, so that's pretty good. And for dinner, we're gonna have the Asian style chicken and shrimp, green tea, processed cheese or cheese spread, cocoa instant drink mix, salt and pepper, commando coffee bar, apricot jam or spread, and we'll also use some of the biscuits. So let's get started. All right, let's start with the drinks. We have the green tea, no sugar. We ran out. So let's dip the tea bag. It's got a good scent to it, very aromatic. Let's just dip it in there and we'll let that sit. Let's check out this cocoa drink mix or cacao. I'm using about six, six and a half ounces of hot water. There it is, just a fine powder. Let's get it in there. Let's give it a good stir. Yeah, it has a very strong chocolatey smell. Let's uh, try it. Yeah, it has a nice rich chocolate flavor to it. Not overly sweet, just very mild on the sweetness. Yeah, it's basically just a chocolate and water, I would say. I don't taste much of the milkiness, if there's even any, or dry milk. It's, um, yeah, it's basically just chocolate in liquid form. Let's check out the tea or green tea. We'll just have it plain as is. All right, let's try it. 
yeah, that's a really good cup of tea. Very strong herbal flavor to it. A little bit of sugar would have made it a whole lot better, but uh, on its own, it's, it's still enjoyable. It's still good. All right, let's check out the cheese spread. Let's open it up. It feels nice and smooth. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, it's a very strong cheese flavor, very rich, very smooth. Let's uh, try with the biscuit. We'll try with the cereal biscuit. There it is. Let's, uh, let's try it. Yeah, that definitely goes with the cereal biscuit. The sweetness and the cheesiness. Just the perfect combination. Yeah, it's a winner. Let's check out the apricot jam. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, there's the apricot jam. Let's try it. Yeah, very strong apricot flavor and uh, very sweet. Let's try it with the biscuit. We'll use the chocolate biscuit this time. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, let's try it. Let's wash it down with the hot cocoa. That is amazing with the chocolate biscuits. Definitely the way to go. And here we have the Asian style chicken and shrimp. I've never had anything like this. So this should be interesting. Let's uh, open it up. Of course you got the pull tab, very smart. Oh yeah. It's nice and juicy. <laughs> and there you have it. It looks really good. You have, I guess, bean sprouts, shrimp, chicken, carrots, uh, maybe green beans, uh, other vegetables that I have no idea what they are. Yeah, all sorts of goodies. Let's, uh, let's warm it up and then we'll try it. All right, I think our meal is done. Let's, uh, let's get it onto our tray. We'll use our handy dandy handle. Oh yeah, look at that. Definitely has a shrimp smell to it. and hot. Let's get everything mixed up. Check out that shrimp and let's try it. Yeah, not bad. Let's get a nice spoonful. Let's try to get everything. We have some noodles, chicken, and of course the shrimp. And uh, yeah, let's try it. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's got a nice home cooked feel to it. The chicken's very juicy and tender. It's got good flavor to it. Definitely has that Asian flair and doesn't really need salt. I could use a little bit of pepper, so let's do that. All right, let's try with the pepper. You know what, let's add some salt to it. Just to make sure. All right, let's give it another go. You got a nice piece of chicken and some of that broth, some of that juice, all right. Let's 
wash it down. Yeah, that definitely has good flavor to it. I really enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, it's a winner. Let's check out the coffee commando bar. And yeah, that doesn't look like coffee. Let's try a piece. Feels kind of soft, All right? Yeah, that has a really interesting texture. Uh, it's very soft, but it has little bits of hard candy and it has like a caffeinated taste to it. Almost like an energy bar, I would say. Very interesting. I uh, can't say I hate it and I can't say I love it that much, but uh, yeah, it's all right. All right, guys, that about wraps it up. That was the French RCIR or French IRCR, whatever you want to call it. It's all up to you. 24 hour ration, menu number seven. I must say I really enjoyed it. Everything was top notch. Everything was delicious. You can really tell that the French government put a lot of thought and effort into this ration. It really does show. I enjoyed every bit of it. And I just want to give a big thanks and shout out to Art and Nina at 4nmre.com. Make sure you check them out. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave me a like, leave me a comment. I love reading them. And make sure you hit the little bell button and you'll be notified of any new content, any new videos that I put out. So make sure you do that. And as always, thank you guys for watching. See you soon. What is this thing? Let's open it up. <laughs> All right, it just snaps like that. And <laughs> this is the smallest fork I've ever seen. And <laughs> I guess it's for your uh, pate. <laughs> All right, let's dig in. Let's get a nice big spoonful. Oh yeah. I think we can fit a shrimp. That's about it. <laughs> 